Hey guys, it's Chris. I'm doing the rotor video that I promised on how to install a uh, spine feed on a die rotor. So your first step is to obviously pop the lid, pull your tab, push the button. Close the lid, then on the inside, there's five screws. Just take a screwdriver. And just unscrew them. The screwdriver I'm using is a little too small for the screws, so it's gonna take me a second to get these out. Alright, so now that you unscrewed the screws, this top part with the die symbol comes off. So you're going to take it, flip the lid, upside down, in here, hold on. There's an axle right so there's an axle you want to take You really gotta fight this thing to get it out sometimes. You gotta watch what you're doing to make sure you're pushing. Alright, so most of the time for me the axle will end up staying right there and the spring will fly off and I'll end up catching it. So you wanna hold on to the spring. So I'm going to pull the axle out, you want to put the spring back in the lid, spring is in the lid, put it back in the lid. And just put the axle back in the lid. Alright, so now, the easiest way I've found out to do this is to take this piece and take the feed. And there's two round parts, right there, and right there. 
they line up with these two posts. So you put it on upside down, then you don't have to fight to get the little holes in the pegs lined up. Basically the cheater way of doing it. So, once you get it centered on there, drop this straight on. Pop everything in, flip it upside down. Make sure when you put the speed feed on, the right side is facing up. Make sure the flat side is facing up if you're going to put it on upside down. Alright, so that now, once you've got it lined up for real this time, take the top, drop it on. Slide your tab down. Now you want to take your screws and put them all back in. Start with the front and work your way back. That's just how I do it. Make sure that you get everything uh, not super tightened, but just make sure that you've got it down to a point where nothing's going to pop off or fall out. Make sure, too, when you're pulling out screws, that you put them back in the same way that you take them out. Because uh, on my marker, on the air transfer plate, there's screws that are longer than the other ones that'll poke into the eye board or destroy the solenoid. Mostly they'll poke into the eye board because there's no holding posts on the bottom of the uh, pieces. This, these screws won't go in anything. There's no electronics or I don't even think there's anything vital in. There's nothing vital in here whatsoever. So. There you have it. Spine speed feed lid fully installed. Let's put it back on the loader. Snug everything down. Everything is on. Now if you're gonna ask, no, I'm actually not that huge of a die fan, even though I have a rotor, lock lids, and I4s. Limited edition gold and white, by the way. Um my heart goes to Empire, but, you know, they're both great companies. So here we go. This is how the loader feeds. Take it and hold it right here. Pop it open. Let me grab a few of these. Alright, so push them all down the way. So this thing, it, uh... So, this is uh, pretty good, so you can put a ball on it, put another, put another, put another. It'll hold up the weight, four or five balls, and flip it over, shake it, only three came out. So, now this is a special treat for those of you who have never seen how fast a loader how fast a rotor can load.
So that was probably about 160 paintballs. This thing feeds at 50 balls a second, so I'd say that it was only three or four seconds to get all that out. Um, thank you for watching. This is Chris with the Empire. Empire? No, not a prophecy. This is Chris with the Die Rotor with a Global Soldiers Spy and Speed Feed Lid. I highly recommend you go by your local store or go online and pick one of these up because they are worth it.